video, I'm going to walk you through how to add texture to an image and about four different ways that you can mask the texture off of your subject. There are several um, different ways to do this and there are benefits to each. So let's get started. I've got my background image and my idea here was to actually bring and add some texture to this negative space. So I keep my texture files on my external drive. So I'm going to come in and just drag this texture right over the image. And then I'm just going to stretch it over and click enter. And there we have it. Now the next thing that I want to do is I want to come in and I want to change the blend mode. And I usually like to use soft light when I'm working with a flower image, but you can try different lights based, different blend modes based on your subject. Next, I'm gonna reduce the opacity. So I'm reducing the opacity of the texture. And I probably usually like to stay around 40 to 50%. Now you can see that we still have some texture here on the flower, and I actually wanna take some of that off. So the first method I'm gonna show you is one you're probably familiar with. We can add a mask to our texture layer. We can grab a black brush because we have a white mask. And I usually set my opacity of my brush maybe about 50%. And we can start removing the texture. Now this method is really quick and works really nice if you're just wanting to take a little bit of texture off your subject. So you can see that did a really nice job. So it just removed a little bit. But sometimes we have subjects that are a little bit trickier. Maybe we have a person and we need to remove all the texture from the skin. Or we have a building. Or maybe we're doing commercial work and it's a cupcake and we need to take all the texture off. So using the brush tool can be actually really tedious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this layer mask and I'm going to show you our second way to impact and remove the texture. So we're going to go back to our background layer. I'm going to leave the texture that I pulled in, but I'm going to go back to the background. And now I'm going to go up to select and I'm going to select subject. Now Photoshop does a pretty good job of doing this for us, but if it misses parts of your subject, you can grab your quick selection tool, the plus brush, and I'm going to come over and just start dragging that around to get all of the flower. Now I'm going to come down and then I may have to grab the minus and just bring this edge in a little bit. Can be can be sometimes a little tricky, but um, there we go. Now, if you are doing this again with a where you need the mask to be completely removed from the subject, you would want to select and mask where you really refine your mask more. So when you click select and mask, you can actually refine, really get this mask tight. Now I'm not going to walk through that in this video. And for this image, I don't need the mask to be perfect. I just want to select the subject. So now we're going to go back to our texture. So our selection is still live. We're going to go to our texture. We're going to go to filter, blur, and do Gaussian blur. Now I'm going to have all the instructions for this in the comments to the video. So you're going to want to increase your Gaussian blur. So you can see if we take it all the way up, the texture is completely gone from our subject. But I'm going to want to leave just a little bit of texture visible. So usually seven to eight pixels works really nice. So we can see here it softened the texture. We don't have those harsh lines on our flower. Um, we could take it up just a little bit more and click OK. And now Photoshop has created a mask for us with this Gaussian blur. Now we could continue to modify the opacity so we could take it back up, we could take it down, and you can see it's altering just the texture um, around our subject. So this is a really nice way to remove texture from your subject. And it's also quick if you don't want to use that brush tool that we did in option one. All right, so this is the option, adding a selection to your background and using Gaussian Blur. All right, so for option number three, I'm going to go back to where we selected our flower. 
So remember, we have our background layer, we have our texture added, and then in our background layer, we selected the subject. So I'm back to that point. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go to my texture, and this time I'm gonna add a mask. Now that mask has removed the texture from the background, but what I wanna do is invert that. So I'm gonna do Command I, which is gonna invert our mask. And now the texture is completely removed from our subject. Now this is a little harsher because it is doing a full removal. We've, we still can go in though and modify the mask. So I can grab a brush and I can have my opacity maybe pretty high. And I can come in and go around these edges and soften the mask if I want to. So I'm using a large brush just to show you, but I could come in with a smaller brush and I can come around and I can continue. You can see I'm removing that texture. Now if I want to add the texture, I can flip it to white and I can bring that texture back around the edges just so it's blended really nicely. And I may even want to add some back. See, I can add it back to my subject. So with this option, you're able to remove the mask really fast and then you can use your brush to bring some of it back if you want, maybe in certain areas. So I can still customize it. I can flip it back to black and maybe remove some of this. And there we go. So this is an option where, again, you had your selection and then you go back to your texture and you mask it, where you remove it all and then you can add it back if you want. So. Um, this works really nice, again, if you have a very selective area you want the texture to be removed from. It helps to do that select subject option. All right, so we are going to go back now and I'm going to take you back to select subject again. And this time we're going to actually go all the way back to the beginning. So I'm gonna take you back to where I have just our background and our texture layer. So if I click on the texture, I'm gonna take it up for you to about 80%. So we're starting all the way back from the beginning. We've added our texture. Now what we wanna do with this option is we are going to grab our color picker tool, eyedropper tool. We're gonna to come over and select a sample of the color in our texture. So now we see over here, our foreground color is the color of our texture. Okay, so now what we wanna do is we want to add a blank layer. So you wanna go down here and create a new layer. We're not using a mask, we're adding a new layer. We want to tell Photoshop to clip this layer to our texture only. So you're gonna hover right here on this gray where you've got this layer, hold the option key and drag your mouse till you see this little arrow. Press that and you're gonna see an arrow where you have clipped this layer to your texture. Now we're gonna grab our brush and probably about 50% opacity is gonna work. Our color is still selected and we're gonna come over and we're now able to remove that texture from our image. It's kind of like magic. And again, you can alter the opacity. So I can take the opacity up if I want to really get rid of it, maybe over here in this pretty area. So maybe I want to remove it in the center, maybe the center right here. And then I want to have it fading, maybe 40% on the rest of my subject. So this allows me to come in and just gently remove. Now you may be thinking, well, Lori, this seems very similar to option one, where we added a mask to our texture and we went in and removed it. And it is. The difference is with option one, we mask on the texture, which kind of made a hole in our texture. With this option, we've got a separate layer that is removing the mask. Our texture layer is still intact. 
So this works really nice if you wanting, are wanting to customize your texture when you bring it in. It especially works great with maybe um, landscape images, street photography, or portraits where you're wanting to really customize the actual texture. So for example, I can now go to the texture layer and I can add an adjustment to it. So let's say I want to do a curves and maybe I want to brighten this texture to match the light in my image better. I can come in and do that and I have not modified my mask, I'm just working on the texture. Let me bring that down just a little bit. Now I could continue to go to adjustments and I can make adjust additional adjustments to the texture. So maybe I want to actually change the hue. So I can come in and add some pink to that hue. I could remove some color. I can, I can modify it. I could also change the saturation. Maybe bring it up a little bit. So I'm on that and making these adjustments to this texture layer. I could go back to image again, adjustments, and maybe this time I'm wanting to impact the contrast. And so I can make those adjustments. So this allows you to make really fine tweaks to your texture layer. It especially helps if you need to match the light, the light of your subject against the light of your texture, because you want those two to match. And all of that is right here with the texture. So it's keeping our mask separate and it's helping us create a really uniform image. So I hope you enjoy playing around with these variety of options. Remember option one was adding just a, a simple mask to your texture. Option two was doing a mask with the Gaussian blur. And then option three, we actually made a selection and we added a mask to the texture. And option four is this one where we're using color to remove and a blank layer. So I'm gonna add these instructions in the video link and I hope you'll try all four, play around with them. There's different times that you'll want to use different options and it's great to know all four of these methods so that you've got them available to you. Thanks so much.